Hello guys! I am going to do, well it's a bit of a mixture of like a vlog and a normal video but I thought it'd be really fun if I was like pack with me for Nashville. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm really excited but I actually go in like two days and I'm not even packed at all. I've got all my clothes out ready um, which is going to help loads but I just need to actually start packing and I don't look awful, no makeup but just finished work and it's like broken up for holiday but I thought well do I really need to put makeup on just to film a video? No I don't because who actually thinks that everyone looks all glammed up all the time? Not me. I'm spotty, I'm tired, I've got bags, I've got no eyelashes because I'm getting them in film tomorrow. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So this is my suitcase for Nashville. £69.99. £70 on a suitcase. Is that extreme? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh it's huge. I'm so excited. <laughs> And I know you'll probably be thinking, why did you spend so much on a case when it's just going to get bashed around and stuff? But it's my first case that I've bought myself, so why would I not go all out? It's like a big girl purchase. <laughs> Look at the inside, it's proper retro inside as well, it's huge. I think that I'm going to be really sensible and take three pairs of shoes with me and one pair that I'm wearing on the plane. So obviously these are coming. These are just the um, ASOS cowboy boots. Oh, I just love them, so great. They're dead comfy as well. Can you just like wire them in like that? You would put shoes at the bottom, wouldn't you? Converse, they are coming with me. These will go with so much and they'll be so comfy because I'll be doing a lot of walking, I imagine. I actually want you whether to travel in them, but I think I'm just going to travel in my Birkenstocks because they're so cozy and comfy. And the last pair of shoes are these. I don't even think I'll wear them to be honest, but they're that lightweight that I might as well just chuck them in. Literally was filming for five minutes and I stopped for a snack break already. <laughs> I need to put heavy stuff in first. So I'm going to take this jacket, I don't know if it's silly because it is going to be really hot but at night time it might get a bit cooler and I can't not take this to Nashville, look at it. This, it's like proper fringed sleeves, can you see? Oh yeah, that's coming to Nashville of course and it's got the nice little western details on the front as well. Uh, yeah, and that was from a charity shop and it was literally like £8 so in, in. look at this, western little little tassels on the bottom and a big western style belt and little studs all around it as well so I got this from a charity shop too a last minute purchase and it is from Misguided but it was three pound something and then it was half price for some reason on all like um skirts and trousers I think so it was one pound seventy five that's it and it is a size 12 so it's really too big for me but it's got that nice belt so I can just cinch it in around the waist and I just thought it'd be really good so what I really should be doing if I was organised would be writing a list of all my outfits that I'm taking but I've never been that organised in my life so I'm not going to start now. I actually bought these packing cubes as well but I'm not sure what to do with them. Pack them but like you know what I mean it's there's a few of them as well so like there's some really handy ones but they all say laundry pouch and I'm not going to use three for laundry I'm not going to have that many dirty knickers on my hands no but I'm going to use one as like hair care and like this huge one is makeup. <laughs> and no, this one can be makeup and that one can be laundry, but I'm not sure about the other ones. Taking these shorts, the place is so stretchy, so I don't worry. <laughs> Little mum shorts, they're gonna go with so much. I've got so many outfits planned for with them shorts. Just been to Matalan and bought loads of knickers. So I bought these three pack of like, you know them no VPL, which I only just recently learned was no visible panty line. Mental. Fold them up nicely in the cube to go. I've not even thought about bras. Probably won't even wear that many when I'm there. Two out of the though, won't it? Then, but five pack of fresh nicks, like, feels sorry for Louis because there's no sex wear going on in here, but what a big comfy. And I just bought white ones for all the time because a lot of my outfits are light, so they'll need to be. Oh, they look cute, don't they? <laughs> they don't look cute at all, but they look comfy, so that's the main thing. It's becoming more of a cube now I'm filling it, you know? It's gonna be really good, actually. Maybe, maybe I was a bit too cutting about the packing cubes too early because that's pretty cool. Right, and then Matalan as well, £2 for five pairs of trainer socks, that's great. Because I thought, well, Converse and my cowboy boots are going to be needing them. Oh, look at the pants I bought, right? Right. So, these are for travelling, I think. So they're just from Matalan again. 40, oh no, £12.50. <laughs> £12.50, really cosy. Not cosy like thick, but like soft. And then they've got the proper flared bottoms, which I love. Uh, they've got to be quite high waisted, so I'm definitely going to wear them to travel in. And then also, last thing from Matalan, I got some nice little hoops because I thought, mm, you need hoops, don't you? So we need to get onto the outfits. This is mental. I can't believe myself. You'd think I was actually going for like forever, really. 
with the amount of clothes I've bought, but this was six pounds, I think it was six pounds, in the sale in, um, Nash in Nashville, I mean in TK Maxx, and it's a nobody's child play suit, jumpsuit, jumpsuit, and it's like got these flared, like, I think they're like midi, like collot kind of looking things, and it's just like, they're not sunflowers, but they look like sunflowers all over, and just a little frill on the neck, it's so nice. And that with them cowboy boots looks amazing. One outfit in, 20 to go. I'm gonna have to speed through this, there's so much clothes. I think this is gonna be too hot, but oh, I think, judging by it, I feel a lot of the things that I've chosen to take are gonna be quite hot, but I don't know, it'll be all right. So I've got this Mill Kit vintage dress. I've spoke about this in my boho clothing haul, and yeah, I love that. This Zara dress, very cool, baggy sleeves, and just like that. A lot of these things still have the tags on. You saw this on my recent vlog where I did a top shop haul, but it's this play suit, little jump. Is it a play suit or a jumpsuit? It's a jumpsuit, a long one, and a play suit is shorts. Yeah, I think so. Just this little one, yellow, little frilly shorts, and like backless. Next up, we have this one. Another Zara dress, but this is really cool. Like, although it's long sleeves, it's like you can literally see through it. It's that that thin and nice. This is that uh, Zara play suit, you know, secret play suit. Looks like a dress, really. It's short as well. This is a joke, this top. It's gonna get so creased in there, like it will be creased. But imagine this tucked in like that to them uh, black mom shorts and either my Converse or my cowboy boots. Oh, yes, that is a great outfit. I love that. This was actually, you might recognise it, it was in Topshop and it had these big puffy sleeves, like long sleeves, and I didn't like them, so I just cut them off. <laughs> and that's why it's short sleeves. Not artistic at all, or crafty. So I just took my pair of scissors and I cut the sleeves off and it survived. And not only did it survive, it's made the Nashville cut. Topshop one, so slinky, so sassy and sexy. I really like it. I feel good in this dress, which is priceless really, and it feeling good in an outfit. Silky things don't crease either. Oh my god, this is great. Next up, I'm taking this dress, and this is quite hot as well, but I think, I'm thinking night times here, and I think I'll like rock it up with um, my Converse, or rocking it up with some Western boots will be really cool. So this is a bit risky, this, because I've not even tried it on, but I really like it. I'm not eyeing this at all, so I'll probably just have to like take a pair of straighteners to it, which works. But don't blame me if you close that on fire, because I'm very careful. But it's just this, and this is from TK Maxx, right? But isn't this the same dress as Topshop, isn't it though? You know, that print, that long dress that everyone's been loving, this is it, I know. And it was literally 15 pounds, and I thought, yeah, that's great for Nashville, that, love it. But wait, look at this, it's my fave. So I think I'm gonna travel in this. So when I go down to Edinburgh on Sunday, I'm gonna wear them green trousers, but with a jumper, because it'll be cold, and then my Birkenstocks. But on the actual flight day, I'm gonna wear them trousers, and this, it. So this is like a brand new top from Dolls Kill and I actually bought this because I saw Misha Grimes had it on her YouTube channel and I was like I need that. So if you can see it's just so beautiful like it's got all this lace detail like around the top area, around the bottom and right around the straps and then it's like that little um, what's that? What are them buttons called? Like a hook and eye? Is that right? Hook and eye? And yeah it's just so nice. It's like that milkmaid vibes again isn't it? Yeah this is from mango but I bought this on Depop um, and it's just like long sleeves but still quite belt sleeves so they're not tight and then look at the print on the back it's just like this big kimono but not silky so I quite like it and then it's got like these tassels on the bottom so that with them flared trousers and Birkenstocks and hoop earrings we're on to a winner and this cheeky thing right looks a bit cheeky so don't judge me bear with me it's this Looks a bit bondagey, right? It does, it looks even worse on camera. This is from Ann Summers, but I'm thinking this with the high-waisted mom shorts and then that kimono over the top and then western boots and that is like an outfit, in it. That's cool, that is really cool. And cool in both ways, like cool like, oh my God, she's so hip. And then also cool like, oh, I'm dying of the heat and this is just so nothing of it. So yeah, it's like kinky, but acceptable. I'm gonna go with it. I actually think that's like a great outfit plan right there. Yeah, bear with me with the background and packing and stuff, but yeah, what a relief this is. Look at these. These this is the fit of the um Matalan trousers, you know, the comfy ones for travelling. I love the flared bottoms, they fit just how I thought they would. But god, they're not very flattering, full on like 
they, they see it all your lumps and bumps but they're nice and high-waisted which I wanted because then I can wear that little crop top with it but yeah oh so comfy I just want to live in these I might even buy like some more pairs so I can just wear them for work and feel like I'm in my pajamas all the time morning has broken my nails did did themselves just sparkly um yeah, I look like a drowned rat because I am. Just got out of the shower and I've literally got, oh, I've got, I have got an hour, I think. An hour to go until my eyelash appointment, which is needed. Look at my eyes, <laughs> look into my eyes. But yeah, have you ever seen my eyelashes like this? Normally I go every two weeks, but because I was going to Nashville the way it worked out, it just made sense to wait three. But oh, I've been emotional this week, I've been crying loads. It's fine now, don't need to go into it, but yeah, been in more, so I think that's affected my eyelashes a lot. But yeah, I need to dry my hair and then go into town. I'm gonna see what Topshop has for me because I need to exchange those jeans. And yeah, dry my hair, get my eyelashes done. Also going out for coffee with my sister and her boyfriend and Louie. Are you excited for Nashville? Yeah. Are you buzzing? Yeah. Is it going to be the best whole day of our lives? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> buzzing. So I had to stop uh, filming drying my hair. It literally takes about 20 hours to dry. I've like, got things to do. Can't, can't afford all this time on drying my hair. But it's pretty dry, fluffy, but it's fine. I slept in a hair mask, that's why. But it's soft. So I'm just trying to get a few bits sorted. I just had to put my uh, camera charger on charge i mean my camera battery on charge for a bit because it was like running really low and i only charged it the other day but i didn't use it for that long i suppose i was filming quite a lot last night but i'm just thinking oh my god if it runs out that quick it's not going to be great in nashville but i'm taking two other spare batteries in nashville obviously my charger and i've got a few spare memory cards so i'll be fine but yeah but i'm starting to feel i don't want to say it i don't want to say it a little bit on edge i'm not going to say the a word but like the flight is coming but the way i'm trying to think about it is either way i'm gonna get on this flight to nashville so whether i just get on sit there like a normal person and fly or whether i get really anxious and flapping and can't breathe and want to get off and stuff i'm still gonna get on the flight so i can either make it really difficult for myself or just get on chill no i'm getting on the flight anyway so either way you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Oh, go in. Let's get these lashes done. I'm in that weird time frame where I've arrived to town and it's like 15 minutes early for my lashes, but 15 minutes to get to Topshop and back for my parcel would be pushing it too much. So I think I'm just going to go and see the girls at work because it's like where I used to work is where I get my lashes done. So I'll just do that and then go and see what I can uh, get in Topshop for 15 pounds. I even think I'll just get whatever I like because it'll be like a £15 bonus off it, if you know what I mean. So I'll just do that, but yeah, let's go and get these lashes done because they're actually a state. So, just finished getting my eyelashes done. I feel so much better. I still feel blurry. You know when you've been like getting your eyelashes done for a whole hour, so you're like, oh, I can barely see. But yeah, they don't feel too like sore or anything like that. Oh, there's some dogs in that car, that was cute. Got so distracted. Yeah, gotta take my Topshop parcel back. I can't believe how many lashes she fit on. I actually thought it was bald, but it's not. I obviously wasn't, but yeah, I'm gonna go and take this Topshop parcel back and I think I need to get like makeup wipes and a few bits like that. Why am I so out of breath? Unfit or what? But yeah, I'm gonna do that. See what I can find in Topshop. So I'm just in Topshop and I'm gonna try on a few of these sale bits. Um, I think it turns out that I'll only get like 50, 10 pound back instead of 15 because I don't have the actual receipt. This could definitely be a winner. <gasps> Look at it. It's literally just this little play suit. The lighting's not very good. But it's got these buttons all the way down. Got pip pockets. Yes. And nice square neck as well. Like that at the back. And it's £10 instead of 30 for all, so that could be a winner. Right, so I'm in boots and I'm trying to get some last minute things, but I don't know what I need because I didn't make a list. That's how unorganised I am, but I don't think I need to take that many like holiday sized stuff because I've got a big suitcase, but I could do with getting a new beauty blender, but why do I want to spend £6 on like a sponge? I'm so stingy, I can't even believe it. But I did get that jumpsuit from Topshop, I just shoved it in my bag for now because um, I didn't get a bag as well. Um, 
Right, okay, I don't, I don't actually know what I need. I also need to get a snack, because I'm starving. I am going to like this cafe later, but I'm hungry now. So, isn't it weird that I'm still spotty and like not wearing a scrap of makeup like before, but because I've got my eyelashes done, I feel so much better. There's no makeup that I need. I've not like run out of any makeup. But you know when you're going away and you're like, do I need to buy a new makeup? Do I want it? I don't know. Makeup wipes. Get this. UK to USA. Cool. I need that last minute as always. <gasps> Hand sanitizer. Yep. These would probably be enough. Three for two as well. So what? Oh my god. I need to pick one more thing. Dry shampoo, maybe. Dry oh. oh my god. I can't be taken anywhere. Right, stay. Stay there. Stay. Well, I'm the cutest dress in a charity shop. Do I want to get it? A bit bridal almost, actually. Do I need it? So I'm actually really early for this meeting, <laughs> meeting, I mean like coffee meeting with my sister, coffee date, coffee date, double date, <gasps> double date, I'm not used to my sister having a new boy, it's so nice, so we're going out for a double date, it's fine, it's fine, are you going to be in it, go on, yeah, no not now, yeah, no, I am, I'm vlogging because, I wasn't going to vlog but I just want to show this, <laughs> it's like tropical, that's why I wanted to film it. Trevor finds it embarrassing, but I don't. It's amazing. There's like different themes when you're in here. And this is the rainforest section. It's pretty cool. I like. <laughs> like all this. Oh my god. I wish this was my living room. With that whole plant wall. This is vibes. <laughs> That's amazing. Looks like fireworks in a light shade. Woo wee. Oh look at this. It's literally got a place for your brew. That's wow. That's amazing. I don't like the print though, but it's cute. Wait for it. Here we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Do you want my Mickey? No, oh, thank you. I don't want it. Stop playing up to the cameras. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, so I'm just gonna oh. Just got in now, it's 10 to 5, so I'm gonna do a little hello. Look at oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they love you too. They love you too. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what I bought. My camera is nearly dead, so I'll show you what I bought while I was out, then end the vlog and get going to Nashville. Woo! Don't know what that was about. So, while I was out, I got this this dress. I did actually buy it, the charity shop dress, seven pounds. Boom. Love it. You sit down with it. Right in the mouth. That's nice. Get off. And then this from Topshop. Romper. Beautiful. Really nice. Cozy. Cash. Whatever. Really? Right. What else did I get? I'm rushing because my camera is going to die. Get off. I bought this. This was like one pound or something. Just a drawstring bag. I thought that would be great for like, yeah, tan, makeup, anything. Yeah, I am going to take fake tan with me. Oh, about that, I cancelled my spray tan because I keep getting this rash on my neck. I don't know if you can see it. It's probably gone down a bit, but it keeps flaring up and I'm thinking, is spray tan even a good idea? I don't think so, so cancelled it. Going to do my own tan. Flannel, because why not? Right, I bought American adapter, you know, UK to US. And then I bought also... I've obviously bought a new packet of Imodium because that's just how I am. Always needing to go. Little makeup wipes, simple. And a bar. Paracetamol. Eye drops. Allergy tablets. Don't really have allergies, but I thought, what if something happens and I suddenly have an allergy when I'm in America? I don't know why I think these things. Then, dry shampoo and hand sanitizer. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog and I'm excited. I'll have Nashville vlogs to come but not until I'm back because I'm not going to be here to while I'm away. I don't want to do that. So yeah, very excited. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Have a nice day. Nashville, here we come.